Hey, 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 my wonderful Taurus. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Kamoy. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of the love. Welcome back. All right. Y'all know this is all about self-mastery, so here goes my disclaimer. I know that these videos are not for everyone. I know they will not resonate with everyone, okay? My videos are all about spiritual mastery and you being able to do the work that is needed for you to master self, okay? You are not to get stuck in the zodiac. You are to understand the energetic path and then master all 12 of them all right with that being said these videos are for my light workers my empath anyone on their spiritual journey if you're spe uh, seeking spiritual understanding spiritual guidance spiritual inspiration motivation um if you're into signs and symbols you may be able to find something here okay we're gonna thank our angels we're gonna thank our guides we're gonna thank our ancestors we're gonna thank our higher self our divine masculine and feminine size we're gonna thank all of the energy that's in the atmosphere that's here to help guide protect and give us the strength and wisdom to move and take action when it is time okay all right Taurus what y'all got going on this week now I did not do a playback so I don't remember what your last reading was uh we're going to be doing a truth poll however for you guys this week a truth poll okay the reason why I'm doing a truth poll is because I felt led spiritually to kind of just help put out um the energy where others can raise their vibration because the shift is here the shift has happened and if you um are tuned in and tapped in you can know that even what we experienced in this retrograde there's some shit going on okay all right so this is going to be dedicated to you guys being able to really get your shit together not just on the third dimensional realm the physical realm um but also um, not just on this physical third dimensional realm, but also in the spiritual realm. Okay. So for a lot of you, you've been going up into that realm. It's time for you to come down and do some physical work. And because you guys are earth signs, this should not be difficult for you because you're grounded. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a truth poll today. Right. And, um, we're probably going to be doing a lot of truth polls. Just so you guys can know exactly where the energy is. If you have not checked out my wisdom of the day, you should. Because I do give a lot more insight on the planetary alignments as far as the energies are concerned. And how you can interact with the energies. And also, you get a, a quick reading of what the energy of the day is. What the signature patterns of the energy of the day is. Um, what you might need to know and how you can avoid some shit that just don't fit you, okay? All right, Taurus, you guys got the two of water popping up as your truth card. The two of water is all about unified love. The two of water is all about partnerships. It's all about relationships, okay? The two of water can also mean uh, attraction. Um, the two of water can also mean maybe you just broke up with somebody uh, and there's maybe some type of imbalance in the relationship, okay? It can just re um, represent a lack of harmony in a place where you may need to bring and forgiveness okay um so for some of you your relationships could be getting closer for some of you your relationships are out of balance um and for some of you it's just time for a positive resolution to all this fighting that's been going on okay um you do have the death card aka the release card popping up in your um and your third dimensional energy, which is a masculine energy, left, your left brain, okay? The logical side, the action that may need to be taken, okay? <clears throat> and you got choices, okay? So um, you can release, which is one choice, okay? That's pointing outwardly. Um, and then you got three of air popping up. This is all the hurt, the conflict, the betrayal, okay? The heartbreak, the breakup shit. That is also showing up in your third dimensional realm, okay? So overall, we know that you got love shit going on, relationship going on, maybe some shit going on that's out of balance, okay? All right, we're going to get into all of these. All right, internally, you got the king of fire, okay? King of fire is pointing inwardly, just so you know. That energy is pointing that it needs to go inwardly, Okay. A lot of cards. I just need one card. Just give me one card, okay? 
Then you got the nine of water, and that's also pointing inwards, okay? And like I said, um, the feminine side is all about the inner work. This is your spiritual work. This is internal work, okay? This is your internal world here. Outer world externally, okay? Um, you got releasing the death card, and you got uh, three of ear, okay? Now, let's just say, right, like right now, in your chakras, you have the, the uh, solar plexus called prayer, okay? Now, every time I pull this card, it just reminds me to let people know, right? You can't, you don't only have to make lemonade when you get lemons. You can make some lemon shrimp scampi if you're into that. You can make some lemon chicken, um, um, lemon meringue pie, um... There's so much things that you can do with some lemons, honey, okay? So don't limit yourself just to some lemonade. The, the whole purpose of this is, right, are you praying and then still seeing the worst outcome, right? Or are you somebody's prey, okay? Still see, still see yourself as a victim. Or are you praying and then seeing victory, okay? This card is asking you to know that you're creating all of this shit. You can't ask for change, and then when change comes knocking at your door, you're afraid of the change, okay? I'm just saying. It may not come in and look the way that you think it should, but if you're open to the change, be open to the change. The spirituality don't work like that. Okay, be open to the change. If you're open to the change, you got to be open to how the universe, God, source, whatever you say it is, you got to be open to how that's going to come in. All right, especially when you're doing your work. All right, there's always going to be subtle signs. You're going to have to get acclimated with how spirit works. You got third eye energy popping up here. Third eye energy is all about your imagination, how you perceive things. And it's saying here that you're going to be recovering things. Okay. This is interesting, Taurus, because I know I say this uh, behind the scenes to a client that I work with all of the time because he's a Taurus in his, um, he's a triple Taurus. He got uh, Taurus in his sun, Taurus in his moon, and Taurus in his ascendant, okay? And one of the things that I tell him all the time in our sessions is like, you dude, you can't think that you know how everybody is going to move, Okay? Yes, you can sit back and you can strategically think how it's going to map out for you. But people move differently, especially if they're tapped in differently. Okay, so you want to be able to recover yourself and how you should be moving through this energy. You can't change nobody, Taurus. Okay, the two of water is saying whatever relationship um, issue is going on over here, my wonderful Taurus. Okay, either some of you are doing the work and the relationship is going closer because you're opening yourself up to forgiveness, or uh, some of you um, are just in an imbalanced relationship. There's, there's no harmony. Okay. And it's asking you to release some things. There's a death call popping up in your own. Um, in the outer world so some things um could have ended with this retrograde energy and you're now recovering yourself okay um when i see this call pop up prayer is asking you to get into a meditative place so you can recover yourself if somebody still steals your confidence okay uh especially with whatever information um came through this retrograde energy it's really time for you to take the time out to go back into a place where you can recover your truth and heal okay all right, we're going to clarify this two of water, which is the truth. The truth is saying your relationships need to be balanced, okay? You got the page of wands clarifying this two of water. Wands energy is all about um, your intuition. And water energy is all about your, uh, your emotions. So it's asking you to pay attention to your emotions because wands are all about um, discovery, Okay, so this page of one is all about discovery and you being able to really freely discover yourself, like not holding back, no longer step by the limitations of anybody else. And this is discovery time. See, you have recovery. You got recovery and discovery. For some of you, you're going to find that you want to change your hair. Okay. For some of you, you're going to find you want to change your hair. For some of you, you're going to find that you want a new wardrobe. Okay. <clears throat> Yep, so be happy about this change. Whatever just left, okay, it was time. Mm. Let's see. So your truth is saying 
Forgiveness is needed for those of you that are not operating in forgiveness. And the moment that you forgive, this can definitely bring in balance into your relationship. You do have the wand, the page of wands popping up and saying, okay, sweetie, it's time for you to discover yourself, okay? Um, if you're not doing the work, this is where you're going to find some setbacks and feel like you're stuck if you're, if you're operating with unforgiveness as we're traveling through this next six months of you really tapping into your truth, okay? You do have the Wheel of Fortune popping up here. Um, but what it's telling me... Right, is that you got some, um, maybe some negative people around you, uh, Taurus, um, that's popping up, or some negative um, forces around you, or maybe somebody that you're dealing with that's just out of control. This can also be you being out of control with your emotions with this two of water energy also, and this is also followed by the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with someone that's really bitchy. You could be dealing with someone that's really bitchy, really emotional, really moody. Okay, that's just like cold hearted. Okay, so what it's saying is you need to you need to start recovering self. Okay, and you need to be careful what you pray for. All right, start recovering self. Oh, wow, yeah, um, mm. Okay, the truth is some of you feel like you don't got no motivation. You feel way down, right? Maybe a little indecisive right now. And this is because you're thinking that whatever this is, you don't feel satisfied. Right? You don't feel satisfied right now, right? But it's really because you're indecisive. And once you make the decision, the happiness is here. Right? Or someone could be manipulating you right now for happiness. Or you could be manipulating someone for, for happiness. Because this is manipulative energy right here. Maybe even poor judgment on your part right here. Or maybe even not tapping into your gifts and your talents that you really need to be. It, it, it feels like really what's going on, Taurus, is you're the one delaying yourself. It's time for you to recover yourself because you pray for some things, but then when they when they come, you don't really like necessarily like the way they look. You don't necessarily like the way they look. Hmm. Okay. Let me get into this. I think I. Alright guys, I think I'm going to have to run downstairs and I think I left my stove on low. Um, okay, so let me run through this really quickly so I can go make sure I don't burn the house down. Okay, um, alright guys, so in your physical, in the outer world, what's going on outwardly, they're asking you that you need to release some things because you do have the deck card on the board. Um, this is pointing outwardly, so this is definitely about endings. This is you begin to a place where you're ready to change the... Um, you're ready to change, okay? You're ready to face maybe things spiritually. For some of you, it's just time to move on. If you haven't gotten a hint yet, it's time to move on, okay? It's asking to release some stuff. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. What it's asking you to to do is really release so you can recover self, okay? Or you have the choice not to because you do have the the three of ear popping up. Ear energy is all about your mental and your, your spiritual thinking, but this is also painful. Maybe a painful separation, a breakup, um, a very painful breakup. Maybe somebody rejected you, but it's asking you to be able to um, let go so you can move forward, Okay. It's asking you to be able to let go so you can move forward. All right. Clarify the death card, a.k.a. the release card, and the three of ear. You're in a manipulative situation right now. All right. It kind of like this person is promising you a whole bunch of shit or they're wishing a whole bunch of um, beautiful shit in your ear, but ain't none of that shit true. And y'all see, these just flew out. Okay. You got the eight of cups. Okay. But this is, um, 
somebody's still lingering with some stuff because the eight of cups is in reverse it's like somebody's still lingering with some stuff right somebody's still lingering with some stuff but you ready to walk away you ready to face some shit and walk away you ready to walk away you ready to release you ready to release all this pain you ready to let it to release all this pain right you got the empress on the board. When the empress shows up, she's all about fully knowing that she's able to create whatever she whatever she wants, okay? This is all about abundance. It's all about beauty, all about um, fertility. This is all about you knowing who the hell you are. This can also about um, being able because she, look at this. She's she's in the shadow side. She's in the, 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 um, she's in the creative side. She's in the truth side of really knowing who she is. You fitting to walk away because you tired. Somebody's blowing smoke up your ass about something. They manipulating you with something. You got the nine of cups. Yep, see? I know I said it. Just know if you cross watching, they finna walk away. They finna walk away because they know. They know you're not telling the truth. They know you're not telling the truth. They know you're full of greed. They know you're full of greed because it's showing up over here too in the truth. Somebody is manipulating you and lying about some shit, honey. Oh, you just know they're a liar. They just, yeah. So in your, you know, in the outward realm, yeah. And I feel just so you know, you're not the only earth sign that's, that's walking away for some shit too. Capricorns had that also. Capricorns had that also. They did. This is Mercury. Mercury is all about, you got the magician here. This is all about communication. All right. But that communication is one sided. It's being manipulated. Yep. You got the King of Wands over here. This is someone with very um, impulsive uh, behavior. They got high expectations. You're dealing with someone that probably got high expectations for everybody else, but not for themselves. Okay. Yep, you got the Seven of Pentacles energy on the board, okay? Seven of Pentacles energy is all about you being able to have a new vision. It's time to get a new vision, honey. You can't sit and cry over spilt milk. When people show you who they are, okay, you're going to have to plan better. That's important, okay? You're going to have to plan better because they, yeah. Okay, they think they think they they got high expectations and not willing to live up to them. Okay, but you seeing things though because you finna shut some things down and some people down and cut some people out because you got the tower card showing up. Okay, don't avoid this change because you being really direct. Okay, because you see things now. Yep. Look, you got the ace of um, uh, swords popping up. This is all about um, raw power, victory. And that's in the um, what you can see outwardly. It's yours to have. That's mental clarity. That's breaking through all of the bullshit, okay? Prayers being answers, recovering your truth. There's somebody around you manipulative energy, and that can be your energy too, ter uh, Taurus. So just be mindful about that. You reap what you sow. You reap what they sow, okay? All right. We're going to clarify internally what you may need to pay attention to. All right. Yeah, I got the truth. You got the king of fire pointed annually. And this is just about you being able to focus, okay? Clearly communicating your, your visions, okay, to yourself first, okay? Don't share your shit with people that's not supportive, and you got it supported by the nine of water. And let me just tell you something. You got the nine of cups showing up twice, so that's triple nines. Pay attention to the nines. Pay attention to the nines, okay? Pay attention to the nines. Triple nines. Okay. All right. Everything you want can come through, but you're going to have to focus, do the internal work, is what this is saying. 
Okay, it's all yours to have. All right, let me clarify with those because those wanted to pop out. Then I just say this. Then I just say that you needed to um, get a new vision or make the plans. You got um, see beyond illusions right here. This is a judgment card. So you are going to have to get into a place where you're going to have to revamp things. Things is coming into judgment. Okay. This is an inner knowing and inner calling. This is a rebirth. Okay. You do have the 10 of cups popping up here. This is wish fulfilled. You got the nine of um, uh, wands popping up here, AKA the nine of fire, right? Energy is saying, whatever is exhausting you, it's time to let it go. Have the courage that you need to push through this shit and know that you're going to persevere. Know that this is just a test of your faith and you're going to have to see past this and Illusion. And we just talked about all this uh, manipulative energy there. Like for some of you, this shit is exhausting you, but harmony is yours. Balance is yours if you want it. Know that you're going to have to tap into the three of wands energy. Okay, wands energy is all about intuitive energy. Know that you're going to have to have foresight and preparation because you do have healing coming in. You got the king of um, cups popping in, okay? The king of cups is all about emotional balance and control, okay? Being able to love freely without expecting anything from others. Just being able to be in your own realm. A love, create a love bubble if that's what you want if you're looking for love create a love bubble okay if you're looking for love you're gonna have to create you a love bubble do not seek outside of yourself for the things that you expect and to gain first you have to find those things within yourself and then they manifest outwardly okay all right so whatever ma manipulative situation that you have going on you're being offered an opportunity to heal you need to get out your head you need to shut some people down because somebody's telling you some shit that's bullshit somebody's gassing your head up okay but of course you won't know that if you're not doing your work somebody's gassing your head up because they're manipulating the situation okay it's right here they promising you a whole bunch of shit right this is that manipulative energy right here right this is that manipulative energy right here with the magician in the reverse um this is that dissatisfied energy right here okay you got the nine of cups but the nine of cups is also in the reverse i turned it upside up but it was also in the reverse okay Somebody, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups is also in the reverse. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's dissatisfied and, and manipulating you. And then you got the Nine of Cups over here too, right? Look at this. They don't look happy. They look like they smiling because they getting away with something. He's smiling because he getting away with something. Okay. But don't worry, you see. And if you don't see, you're about to see. If you don't see yet, you're about to see. Okay. All right, my wonderful Taurus. Uh, the truth is that you guys have some um, relationship situations, some um, partnership situations where forgiveness may need to be at hand. Um, for some of you, once you forgive, your relationships will come closer. For some of you, you do have... Um, the wheel of fortune popping in and saying that you're going to have to get rid of whatever negative situation and um, negative people that you have around you. Okay. Uh, Queen of Cups is saying you could be dealing with someone that's overly bitchy and emotional. Okay. That could be you also. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is all about whatever delays are happening. It's because you're not in the right energy and you're not focusing. You're not focusing on your potential. You're listening to other people and their bullshit. Okay. You have somebody gassing you up, promising you wish fulfilled, happy and shit but they're really just manipulating the situation so they can get what they want and that's the truth okay that's in the truth section outwardly and externally you are getting ready to walk away from some things if you have not done so yet you could be dealing with a scorpio pay attention to what scorpio is in your chart okay um internally uh you are exhausted from all of this energy it's time for you to focus on you it's time for you to see past illusion it's time for you to let go of the shit that you cannot control okay it's time for you to be able to understand that you have to have more foresight and, pre and prepare more for the things that you desire to experience you also got the um uh, this is the, the 10 of water in this deck, AKA the, the, the 10 of cups. Okay. And this is all about you coming into a place of, um, happiness and alignment. Okay. L listen, it's yours to have, but you're going to have to leave some shit to really get what you want. Okay. You're going to have to let go of the old cycle. So the new cycle can begin. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, things have shifted. We're in literally in the purge right now. 
So I won't be surprised if throughout these readings you see a lot of releasing and tower moments in people's lives because we're going through the purge. Tower moments are not necessarily bad because if this tower moment is a focused tower moment. You're the one directing because you're, you're paying attention. Okay, so this is, and, and, and understand tower moments could just be a thought of you just realizing, okay, I'm going to put you where you need to be because you don't fit right here no more. So I clearly see that you don't fit up here no more. So I'm about to cast your ass out to the ground. Okay, so please know. And as you do that, look at this dove. Okay. All right, my lovely Taurus, just know that you can't control people. You can only control yourself. And once you master yourself, everything else around you changes, okay? So pay attention to that, my lovelies. It's time for you to forgive, release, and recover your truth and step into your I amness, okay? Know the things that you ask for. You can already know that they're there for you to have. But if you don't think that they're yours to have, you can't experience that in which you desire to experience. It's, it's that simple. Okay, you can't just believe. You got to know. Okay, you can't believe in somebody else's powers and not your own. You got to know. Okay, all right, so whatever manipulation is going on, you're going to have to make some choices to let this go and walk away. All right, my wonderful Taurus, I will see you guys in your next read. And check out the description box where you guys can find the information for my girl, Kim Warner. She does natal charts. I don't have the breakdown next to me right now, or else I would have shown you guys. Do I? Oh, I do. Okay, so this one section that she sent me is just for mapping out all of my planetary alignments. And this one report is like 35 pages, okay? And then I have another one that I'm reading, which is 29 pages. And then another one that I'm reading, which is like 20-something uh, pages. Let's just say like a total of 85 pages worth of work about myself. Uh, you have the location where I was born, all of my planetary alignments as far as... You know, the time, the cusp, all of that stuff is in there. And it also breaks down um, exactly what that means. So I'm super excited and happy and thankful that she was able to gift me with that. Um, so you guys can definitely reach out to her so she can help you guys understand you, okay? Um, by getting a copy of your natal chart. So email her and she'll give you all of the instructions that you need. Make sure that you guys check out the description box and how you can win a free reading. And I will see you guys in your next... Um, individuals love yourself be kind to yourself don't allow people to make you an emotional puppet okay see past the things that no longer serve you so you're able to forgive release and move forward bye guys drink plenty of water because it's still summertime bye